Hello, Gamer Nome is back, and in this video, I am going to show you how to become rich in Blast Fruits. Oh my god! But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actor slam on oh, their dancing forward, there's your slam! Guys, I am having a hard time deciding on what C to start with, so this will will help us decide on what C to start with. So there you go guys, second C. Okay, so let's start. Oh, and just a reminder, the accounts that I will be using has no times to money for everyone to relate. So as you can see, this is a level 700 account, and the question to be answered is, should I do sea beasts or chests? But Gamer Nom, how about the quests? Guys, I'm gonna explain to you why quests are bad here. So let's head to the Forgotten Island, the final island in the second sea. Let's compare the reward. For the Tide Keeper, you will get 12,500. No! And for the Sea Soldier, 12,250. No! But how about the Ice Castle? So let's check the Ice Castle. Let's compare the reward. For defeating the Ice Admiral, guys, we will get 20k. Not bad. For the Arctic Warriors, it's 12,250. But the problem here is for a level 700, they're hard to beat, right? So how about the Swan Pirates, the easiest one and fastest to grind with, you will get 10,750. Let's compare this amount to just getting one blue chest. Okay guys, just one blue chest, we will get 5,000. So if you're in the public server, doing chests is the easiest way. So as you can see, I have 151,000, right? With the level 700 account. Also, guys, the best fruit here is again, the door fruit. I am going to show you one full grind. So let first, guys, let's head to the winter castle. Okay, so now there are chests here. This is one. Do not worry, we will total the money that we will get in one whole cycle of grind. That's the second chest. Guys, I'm gonna make this faster, okay? I'll fast forward this. This is the third chest. Moving to our fourth one. Fifth, sixth. Next stop, we're going on top of the castle. The seventh. Last two. This is the eighth one. Last one. Here, okay? And after that, we are moving the raid area there you go there are one two three and four chests here after that we will wait for our c skill to hold down after that coliseum there you go there is one blue chest here there it is and after that one final island is the skull island take note that we are not getting all the chests in an island we are just we are just collecting the nearest chests to each other here are the chests. This is the second one near Digrock. The third one is here. The fourth one is here. Fifth one. Okay, now going to the Pipe Keeper area. There's a blue chest here. There you go. One gold chest and one silver chest. Okay, guys, we got a total of 57,000 with just that. Okay, but Gamer Gnome, what if I don't have a door fruit? No problem, just do server hop in the ice castle, yes. There are 9 chests here. There you go, again, same with what I showed you a while ago. And you will get 20,000 plus. Guys, imagine it. Comparing it to the quests, this is easier, you don't need to fight enemies. And you can avoid bounty hunters, right? Again, this is a lot better compared to doing sea beasts. Guys, you cannot do sea beasts in the second sea because there are lots of bounty hunters here. I hope everything is clear. Now back to our wheel. <laughs> okay, so for our next sea, we got the third sea. Okay, so now we are heading to the third sea with another account. In the third sea, there are two ways to grind money. Okay, so I will let you decide your choice. Is it sea beasts? Or chests okay so I'm gonna show you both to have an idea so first we're gonna do sea beasts so this is not a rumbling event but two sea beasts were summoned guys I'm using a magma awakened also a fishman race that's the best combination why gamer no guys for those saying you don't need 
Fishman race when you already have magma fruit? Check this out guys. If you get hit by that skill, you will go underwater and you will get damaged. Okay? So again, just to make sure, get the Fishman race. Also, to increase the chances of summoning a sea beast, here are some tips. Go far away. Don't go near an island. Make sure you're inside the ship's driver's seat and make sure your boat is moving, okay? These are things that can increase the chances of you summoning a sea beast. So Gamer Gnome, how much will I get from defeating one sea beast without two times money, guys? 158,000, that's a lot. And for me killing two sea beasts, I got a total of 324,143. <laughs> but can you do it in the public server? This will be very hard because of lots of bounty hunters which brings us to our second choice, the chests, okay? You will be needing some luck and guys, I don't suggest using magma fruit. If you're gonna ask me, light fruit is the best fruit for this one. It's very easy to get and I'm gonna show it to you, okay? So here in the haunted castle, you're gonna grind chests, that's one, two, three, and four. And last one is on top of this island or castle, there are three more blue chests. Okay, and after that, just leave the server and you're gonna do server hop. Check this out, I am in a public server. Guys, you will get a total of 43,000 plus. Plus, this is a higher chance compared to doing sea beasts. So, up to you guys, sea beasts or chests. I don't suggest doing quests. So finally guys, in the first sea, there are no sea beasts here. So for our only choice, the chests or the quests, okay? So we will head to the final island. Here you go, the Fountain City. And we will check the reward of the boss. So for this boss, the cyborg, you will get 20,000 bellies. Mm, that's a lot to be honest, right? higher than some of the quests in the second C. So guys, our goal is to gather uh, chests fast, more than 20,000, right? And my technique here is head to the park village, don't forget to save. The best fruit to use is the door fruit. And guys, you need an item that can destroy doors, okay? Okay, so after that, here's our money, 94,000. Teleporting to the park village, and let's start. First, you will get the blue chest here, a gold chest here, Another gold chest here, and another gold chest here. After that, we will teleport to the upper sky. Destroy this door. There you go. And we have, I think, six chests here. One, two, three, four, sorry. Five, six, seven, eight chests. After that, go to the sky island. There's a blue chest here, and another yellow chest here. Jump. There you go, another gold chest here. Sorry, I said yellow, it's a gold chest. Another one here, okay? For a total of 16,800 bellies. Not bad. Oh, I forget something. You can head to the Fountain City. On top, there's a blue chest here. Guys, take note, I did not gather all the chests in the first sea. So if you want, you can do it. There you go, another one is located here. Near the cyborg, okay? So I think this technique is faster and easier compared to doing boss hunts at a low level. So I think guys, that's it for this video. If you agree with my technique, please comment it in the comment section. If you have a better technique, comment it in the comment section. So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!